Hello everyone, welcome to ST Model Cars. In this video, I would like to show you this 118 scale BMW X5, and this is the G05 generation. Uh, this is made by Noref. Uh, price point on this, I got this a few years ago. Uh, I believe it about, was about like $120 or so. Um, you know, and as you see, this is uh, almost a full opening uh, die cast. Uh, the hood opens, the uh, four door uh, open. Uh, the only thing that don't open is uh, is uh, uh, the tailgate. So this door here, uh, uh, somehow this is sealed. So which is too bad. It's a really a nice model, uh, except you know uh, the tailgate uh, doesn't open. Okay. So let me close this so you have a, a better view of the car with everything being closed up. Um, <clears throat> a little disclaimer too, uh, that this car is slightly uh, modified. A uh, couple things I did to this car. Uh, first, I painted the wheels uh, all black. Uh, originally, this was a two, uh, like a two-tone uh, wheel design. Uh, it's, it's quite nice, but I don't know, I wasn't really a fan of it. Uh, so I decided to kind of black out the wheels. Um, and kept the uh, BMW logo uh, uh, in the center cap still. Uh, the other thing I did was I lowered the front end of the car a little bit, and then I pushed the offset of the front wheel out, right? So the front wheel is more flush with the back wheel. Um, you know, I just use a shim uh, inside. So it's, with, with Norf, it's pretty easy to take, up, take apart the suspension and kind of shim things around if you want to change the stance of the car. Uh, so if, if you're ever interested um, how I do that, uh, just uh, let me know, post it in the comments, and maybe I can make a video uh, on that. And then um, the third thing that I did to this car, um, as you can see here, the, uh, I painted the front grills uh, black. Uh, so this, uh, the, the two grills, the kidney grills, were uh, originally chrome. Uh, I painted it, uh, painted them black just to kind of tone it down a little bit. Uh, you know, the size of the grills, uh, they're, they're pretty big. So, you know, by painting it black, it kind of kind of tones down the visual a little bit, uh, you know. And I kind of, I don't know, I kind of like it, you know, the black grill and the black wheels uh, give the uh, this X5 a bit more aggressive look, okay. So let's take a closer look at the, at the X5 here. Let me get the turntable off to the side, okay. All right. Um, Looking at the front here, uh, really nice headlight details. Uh, behind the lens, you see the uh, two uh, DRLs and you see the uh, the blue accents as well, uh, right? And you know, and on the bottom, uh, you have the uh, the grill opening here. Uh, none of them, uh, none of the grill are really perforated, uh, so these are just molded pattern. Uh, none of them are really see through. Uh, and this is the uh, the M Sport uh, package, right? Uh, so you have this uh, uh, sporty uh, sportier front fascia. Uh, with yeah, you know, with the turn signal fog light combo here on the side and the uh, side fans as well. Okay, and the grill, uh, as I mentioned, they're pretty massive. Uh, you know, but uh, these were painted black. They're or originally chrome. Okay. All right. Let's take a look under the hood. Uh, so the engine detail is pretty sparse. Uh, you know, I would say it's just okay. Uh, it's nothing too spectacular. And it's a it's a half engine, so only the top part of the engine is is molded, right? Uh, but they give you this uh, nice uh, strut bar here, uh, you know, uh, on on both sides of the car, right? And some details here, uh, you know, you get the uh, coolant reservoir, right? Um, you know, and you get the uh, uh, the BMW logo and the valve cover, uh, six cylinders, right? So it says twin power turbo uh, here on the valve cover. Okay, so, all right, and here's the shot uh, under the hood. Okay, um, you got the uh, panoramic sunroof uh, on the top, right? Uh, it's pretty nice there. Okay. And here's the side view uh, of the X5. Uh, one thing to me that, that, that strikes me kind of weird is that Noref uh, chose not to uh, tint the windows. Uh, you know, with the SUVs, normally you see uh, the spec windows uh, are tinted, right? And the front uh, are clear. Uh, but for some reason, on this X5, everything is clear. Um, you know, so I wish they kind of tinted it. Um, you know, but the nice thing about having the clear window is you can clearly see the uh, interior, right? Uh, so let's take a closer look at the wheel and tires. Uh, you get the uh, brake calipers here uh, and, the, uh, and the brake rotors uh, behind the wheels, right? Like I mentioned uh, before also, uh, this wheels uh, were painted all black uh, before uh, it has like a two-tone black and silver. Okay. 
you have this uh, side fence here and then you have the M logo here uh, on the side as well. Okay. All right, uh, here's the close-up look of the rear wheels. Okay, so let's take a look at the undercarriage. Uh, pretty decent detail, the front is all covered, uh, right? And you see, if you can see here, uh, this is part of the, of the shim that I put uh, in the front suspension to get it uh, lowered just a little bit. Okay, let's just give the car a better stance. Uh, okay. And you get, uh, get the separate exhaust here. Uh, you get the rear differential and uh, rear suspension uh, details here. All right, so let's take a closer look at the interior. Uh, I really like the uh, color combo of the interior. Uh, so the white car uh, and kind of like that saddle uh, black interior uh, combo. I think it looks really good in this car, right? Um, you know, here's some detail of the interior. Uh, you see the wood panels uh, on the dashboard, right? Uh, you see the uh, infotainment screen there uh, in the middle. And you also um, see the details in the center console uh, with the shifter, with the i knob buttons, okay? And then the seat. Uh, itself uh, it has the uh, diamond pattern uh, if you see in the cushion there right and it carries through uh, uh, on the back as well here's the so here's the seat uh, pattern right everything is uh, carpeted uh, which is pretty nice right uh, and then down there you get the uh, BMW M uh, door seal uh, details here and also some details here on the side uh, for the uh, uh, the seat uh, adjustment uh, button so that's pretty nicely detailed there. Um, finished uh, her headliner, of course, right? Uh, with the uh, panoramic sunroof, as you can see there. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. There you go. And here's the uh, shot of the door door panel. So same color combination. Uh, you know, you got the beige, the black, and then you have the uh, silver uh, door pull. So let's take a look at the. Uh, rear seat area here so very similar uh, door panel uh, as the front uh, you have the screen there you have the infotainment screen uh, on the uh, back of the front seats for your uh, rear passengers and in the middle there between the seats there's the HVAC uh, fence and the uh, controls for the rear passengers and here's the shot of the uh, seat uh, the seats uh, the rear seat there's the pattern so here's you know here's looking uh, at the headliner uh, from the back, right? You can see the panoramic sunroof there. So, okay. Uh, all right. Let me put the camera back here. Uh, looking at the back, uh, like I said, unfortunately the uh, tailgate uh, doesn't open. Uh, but here's the close-up look uh, of the rear uh, of this X5, right? Uh, you got the BMW logo here uh, in the center. Uh, you have X5 uh, uh, emblems on the right, and this one right here. Uh, X drive of uh, 4.0 I so and you have the uh, separate uh, piece uh, rear wiper here uh, if you ever own this car be careful this is kind of somewhat mounted flimsily and it kind of move around so you know I, I kind of don't like this because it kind of risks scratching the glass and you know uh, and, and, and the risk of of this being broken off is pretty high you know in case you accidentally just you know rub it the wrong way right so just be careful um, with this X5, if you uh, ever get one of this. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, driver side interior. So very similar to the uh, passenger side that you, I showed you earlier. Uh, here's a uh, zoom of the uh, uh, the instrument panel. As you can see, everything is printed, right? That, uh, and then you get the uh, details on the steering wheel, the three-spoke steering wheel with all the buttons. Uh, you know, So that's displayed quite nicely. And I really like the pattern uh, on the pedal, the gas pedal and the brake pedal. And like the uh, passenger side, you also have some details here uh, on the uh, for the seat adjustments. All right. Uh, okay, I hope you enjoyed the review of this uh, BMW X5. Uh, much appreciated if you can subscribe to the channel uh, if you haven't. And if you have any comments, uh, questions, or suggestions, uh, feel free to post them in the uh, comment section okay and i will see you in my next video thanks for watching